big news out of Nebraska's press conferences yesterday. He's back. Who's that? Well, I'll tell you right after this. Hey, my name is Logan Merrick, and this is Husker Central. If this is your first time here, thanks for coming and hanging out with me. This channel is dedicated all to all of my Husker Nation fans who just love Husker information, want to talk about it, want to have community, and it's not necessarily from a journalistic perspective. It's from a fan's perspective. And so if that's you, consider subscribing. And if you get some value out of this, would you like this video and share it with others? Thanks so much. With that being said, who am I talking about? Who's back? Well, if you didn't hear the news yesterday during his press conference, Ty Robinson has this to say. You know, Coach Rule and Coach Nine said that they kind of made a joke that when we played uh, last week, that was really week three for football for me, us playing against NIU, just because that's how far behind I was with, with football. Uh, and also, I think just, you know, with my dreams and aspirations to go on to the, to the next level, I think coming back another year to really sharpen uh, some tools and some skills that I need uh, can help. That's right. So our boy, Ty Robinson, all six foot six and 310 pounds of him is coming back for another year. I could not be more excited. And so our boy has, I mean, you just watch him on tape. You can see it right there. He is so disruptive in the middle. Him and Nash for another season, more growth together. My goodness. Those freshmen, Cam Linhart, O'Reilly Van Poppel, uh, my, one of my favorites, Princewell, Human Yellen. I mean, so oh, huge. Donald Trump, huge. I can't wait to see them all grow together for another year. Ty, uh, when Terrence Knight and Coach Terrence Knight, the defensive line coach, was asked uh, yesterday how he felt about it, and he was so excited that he said, "It feels like we just got, it feels like we just got uh, a five-star upperclassman out of the portal." And and I honestly thought Ty was going pro. I thought that like, man, he had shown enough to go pro this year. And he's he feels like there's unfinished business. He says he needs to as you heard in the press conference, he needs to continue continue to hone some skills and get better. Man, oh man. This year uh Ty has had 10 starts. He started all um all season he has 10 starts entering Iowa's game. Um he has 27 tackles including four tackles for loss and a sack. He has a team high nine quarterback hurries. And from the position that he plays, man, that's big. Him and Nash, really huge in the run game, but they get pressure, man. Th those two boys right there are some big boys, some nasty boys. And so maybe they should take on that moniker, the nasty boys. That would be fantastic. But man, I'm excited. I hope you are too. If you are, smash that like button for me if you're pumped and comment down below who you hope to see take the next step in this Iowa game this Friday. Who do you think it is? I think Ty gets a couple sacks. I think he goes off. But you tell me who you think down in the comments. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Wait, I almost forgot. I have a live stream for this Friday's game against Iowa. So if you want to hang out or if you're going to be out and about and you want to have a have it uh, in your ear as you're getting all those Black Friday deals, I'm going to be going play-by-play, -play, doing in-game reaction. That's also where I would love for you guys to be hanging out with me in the chat, giving me your feelings of how you feel like the game is going, and let's just converse that way. So that'll be starting off at 1045 this Friday, Central Standard Time. Hope to see you in the chat. Share this video, and as always, Go Big Red! See you next time.